Yep, that's right. It happened again. Before we get into this video, make sure you head on over to www.cycle-fanatics.com. Get yourself entered to win our new giveaway bike, Blue Bayou Street Bob 114 2022 SNS 475 in it. So head on over to the website, get yourself entered to win because once they fill up, that's it. The giveaway will be closed. There is a limited amount of entries. What's up, guys? Not a good day. Look whose bike I got. Guess whose bike that is. Anyway, not a good day today. I got Mr. Holy Shift. Say hello, Mr. Holy Shift. Hello, Mr. Holy Shift. In the building. building. He's here by my house. We're gonna be doing something re really cool. Let, let me show you, why don't you show the viewers what you're gonna be doing or what I should say I'm probably gonna be doing exactly. <laughs> I, I, on your bike. You see this beautiful bike? It's kind of empty over here, right? You see, nothing, nothing going on here. Well, nothing he's got no, no audio. He's got no audio. So, how about, how about this? This. Nice, sweet. Let's start with the name. Rockford Fosgate. There you go. Harley Davidson hooked him up. Beautiful. So that video, you're gonna want to go over to Mr. Sandy Holy Shift channel. He'll have, when are you gonna have that video out? Very soon and it's gonna Couple be- Couple days? Yeah, and very detailed. Like step by step, full details. Got you. It's gonna be the first video out there. Got you. I'll do, I'll so if up. anybody is interested, how to install the Harley Davidson Rockford Fosgate audio system on a 2022 Lowrider ST, all right? Just go over to Sandy's channel, Holy Shift, check that out. But today's video, um, I'm not pissed because I knew this was gonna happen, but I just didn't know when it was gonna happen. There's been a lot of, obviously, a lot of comments, a lot of talk back and forth saying, well, why didn't you upgrade that before? Or why didn't you do the transmission? Those are the weak links. Well, this is what happened. So basically in Laconia, when I had the 128 build, I blew the clutch over there in Laconia and I got it. I was able to get it repaired at Laconia. We put a brand new recluse torque drive clutch kit back in. But upon inspection, the basket was a little damaged. So, but what happened was they didn't have a Trask basket, upgraded basket or any other kind of basket there. It was pretty much towards the end of Laconia. Parts were running kind of low and they didn't have any upgraded basket. That's why I didn't replace it. But we did, I was able to replace the clutch on Silverback, not the basket. So that's been good even through the 130 build now. But when we were out on that bikes and breakfast ride, we we're getting on it pretty hard. I tried to do a little burnout and boom, that's when it happened. So. Let me explain to you guys what happened in Laconia and basically what happened now because it's basically the same thing. So what happens is when you go to try to find neutral, you cannot find neutral because the clutch pack is basically still engaged. So when you have it in first with the clutch lever fully depressed, the bike still wants to move. It never disengages because something in there within that clutch pack is still engaging and it's still engaging the drivetrain which makes it want to go forward it's lunging forward i'll show you guys in a second so that's what happened silverback is down due to the clutch problem and i'm not going to take it apart here at home probably going to bring it over by dave but what i can tell you is the stuff that i ordered is bulletproof i ordered the new clutch basket a new heavy heavy duty clutch with six springs instead of three. And the new clutch basket comes with the ring gear, everything all included with the bearing pressed into it, everything. Because on the Trask basket, you have to take that one off and basically drill out the rivets and remove the old basket and take any sort of upgraded basket and bolt it onto the new onto the existing ring basically what the chain drive is driving on and also that ring is also for your starter engagement so i didn't want to go through all of that and 
what I did was, I'll show you, I don't wanna tell you what parts I ordered. I'm waiting for them to come in. We have one month before Laconia. I'm taking this bike, I need to take this bike. This is the star of the show. So everybody is going to wanna see this bike. So we literally have a month. I'm hoping that the parts come in. But again, even if I don't get the parts, still taking Blue Bayou, our beautiful 2022 Street Bob. But anyway, I'm thinking, I'm hoping, and I really feel that I should be able to get Silver back back on the road. I ordered all those parts, super, super heavy duty. I shouldn't have, they're well, uh, built for well over 200 plus horsepower. I can't wait to show you guys. I should have obviously replaced the basket. I'm not sure if that was the culprit. Once we take it all apart, I'll show you guys that video in full detail but now that section pretty much is going to be bulletproof other than a lot of people ask me why don't you change out the trans well I'm not going to do that until it busts. I haven't had any problems. Um, as long as you make sure that when you do power shift or shifting quickly, you have to make sure that all every time you upshift and you're on throttle, you may want to let off throttle a little bit to make sure that the gear is fully engaged. But you definitely want to make sure those gears are engaged because when they're not, when they're only a quarter or halfway engaged, that's where the weak part is and that's when the gears shear. So I have no issues with the trans. trans works good i kind of knew that was going to happen i just didn't know when because we're we have 153 horsepower we need an upgraded basket we need the heavy duty clutch to hold that power and transfer it to that back tire so that's what's going on if you guys remember my laconia trip basically had the same issue the recluse clutch went out and it kind of damaged the basket a little bit but we were able to still replace it and use it, got it fixed, drove it back home, and I'm still running on that clutch from Laconia and the stock basket. I recommend highly, if you're going to a big build like this, change over to an upgraded basket, change over 100% to an upgraded clutch. That definitely, with this much power, you definitely are going to have to do that. So I got Mr. Holy Shift over here. He's gonna hold the camera. I wanna show you guys exactly what's happening when I start the bike and and um, how it's reacting. So this way, if you guys are ever in this situation, you'll know. While John's getting the keys for Silverback, I just want to let you know that this time he actually, he actually made some coffee for me, so. Jet engine. <laughs> here, here, let him hear it. Take off. <laughs> Love jugs. All right, so I'm in neutral right now. I'm gonna start the bike, and then I'm gonna depress the clutch, put into first, and I'll show you guys immediately how the bike wants to move forward. <laughs> So you're only able to stop it with the brake, yep. So clutch is fully engaged, but the bike still is lunging forward. Another thing is you cannot find neutral. It's almost impossible. Once it's in first, you can't even lift and find neutral. It's that hard. So if you if you guys are if if that ever happens to you, that's that's what happened to you. It's basically your clutch still engaged, even though it's you think the hydraulic um, actuator is disengaging your clutch pack, it's not. It's actually just, it's really still engaged and it's just, bike is just lunging forward. Silverback, down for the count for now. As soon as I get the parts, already talked to Dave, get the parts, bring it over there. Should be a quick replace, one nut on the compensator, one nut on the actual clutch basket and stuff. That all comes out. Then I don't have to actually take off the uh, stock basket off the ring set and you know press the bearing out press the new bearing into the new one too much hassle the new unit all comes ready to be installed so it should be quick and easy install 
and it should be absolutely bulletproof. We'll keep our fingers crossed, guys. Check out Sandy's channel in the next couple days for the Rockford Fosgate audio system video. We got Blue Bayou here looking great. I'm waiting for some other parts. If anybody is interested to get entered to win, this is our new bike giveaway on the channel. 2022 Street Bob 114. Head on over to www.cycle-fanatics.com and get yourself entered to win that bike. This bike is absolutely beautiful. It rips stage two, Bassani exhaust, 475 cam. Got the Memphis shades going, got Saddleman. Ah, oh, so much stuff onto it and a lot more stuff happening to this bike. So definitely stay tuned to the build and to the project. I have a lot more uh, stuff coming on to this bike. So anyway, if you guys have any questions about clutch, whatever, but I don't want to tell you what I'm using yet because it's I want it to be a surprise. Just stay tuned, uh, subscribe, follow along, and I'll show you what we're putting in because it's really some high performance stuff. It's definitely going to be able to handle the power of this 130 T-Man performance motor. Brakes, these Arlen Ness brakes, I just want to give you another update, put another four or 500 miles on this past couple days. Brakes work flawlessly. 14 inch Arlen Ness big brake rotor kit. Um, the smooth, I replaced them. I don't have the waved anymore and they work absolutely phenomenal amazing amazing stopping power i'm really really happy uh with the brake setup that's it guys that's all for this video we'll see you guys on the next video we have some amazing amazing videos coming up for you guys this year laconia maricade sturgis and uh there's going to be a lot of other things that we're going to do peace out guys